Hi, and welcome to another Working with Canvas in Python. Okay, right here, you guys can see the example of my arc that I've just played around with. And one thing that we can do, there are a lot of things that we can do using the Canvas to draw an arc. Like you can see, I have a border around some of these arc, not all. I've changed the different colors. For this one, I've inserted a background color. And I've also changed the various colors. And I'll show you guys how to use the exit decimal notation to mix colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this. And let's start a new program entirely. So we're going to start by importing the following. Okay, let's go ahead and just say from tick into import all and the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm just going to declare my app i'll call that root equals tk there and for this tk i'm going to enter a space there because i want the title to be dead center so i'm going to say space equals there we go you see that very space and i'm now going to use that space I will then define that space inside my title here. So let's say title, open up a bracket, and I'm going to make that about 180 multiplied by the space, just the variable space that I have up there. And I will say plus whatever my title is going to be. I'm just going to call this display various canvas in Python. So that's just the title. Okay, you can call yours whatever you like that is it done now the next thing i'm going to define my geometry so i'm just going to say root root dot the geometry that i want the choice is yours whatever size you want to use so i'm just going to double click on that and i'm going to specify let's go for 1350 by 800 which is the height plus zero plus zero those are the coordinates there and the next thing i want to do is i want to enter up here instead of python logo i want to enter my own logo so i'm going to say root dot icon and the icon is bitmap that's the method that you use to call your your icon and the icon is called cap whatever you call your icon just put it in there dot the icon extension and close that i'm just going to show you my own icon where it is and right here that's my icon right there and you guys can see the file extension file type is icon okay and i'm going to save my project right in there but first thing first let's say root dot main and i would like it to loop okay so change that to loop and let's just save this file save as so i'm going to save that as let's go for pi underscore arc underscore canvas there we go that's the name of my project save if i run this now all you guys see will be just a big gray frame and there's nothing in there there we go that's it but you can see my icon that's my icon right there and here that is my title you see my title dead centered okay that's all to that so the next thing i want to do now is to define the coordinates so i'm going to say coordinate equals let's make that 10 by 10 by 300 so that's my coordinate there defined and i'll then create my very first object i'll, I'll call that arc canvas right arc canvas one equals the widget called canvas so let's get rid of this C. so it's just going to be arc canvas okay and the widget is called canvas this very widget is going to be inside root 
let's increase this font size so that you guys can see it because we are almost done let's make it about 14 all right then the next thing is background color equals white comma let's enter height okay i prefer the width first the width equals 300 and the height is going to be 300 as well equals 300 there should be a comma between the height and the width there we go and that is it close that now the next thing i want to do now is just to create my arc so let's say arc equals i'm gonna call the name of my arc here because that's in here dot let's now use the method create underscore arc that will be arc there we go and this arc we have the following coordinates paste that in there and where i want it to start from so i'm going to enter start equals zero comma and extend to about maybe 150 right Correct that and the other thing is i'm going to fill it up let's see i can just make that gray or light gray whatever light gray as a color that i want to fill it up with and and that's all there is to it i'm still going to change one or two things but let's run this and you guys see what i'm talking about but before i do that i'm going to run this or copy that and paste it right underneath here and just say dot grid is going to be inside row zero and column equals zero close that and that's my very first arc it's meant to be one in here if i run it this is what you will see run that is my arc right there okay let's close that so what we will do is i'm going to change add one or two things to this arc first and first let's add an outline outline that's another property for an app outline i'm going to make the color the choice is yours let's make it red something that you guys can see and if i run it now look at what's going to happen you might not be able to see it properly but i'll show you another method can you see that you can see the trail of red around the arc so i'm going to change that so let's say width the width of that very outline i'm going to make it four and let's see what's going to happen it's going to become thicker now let's run it look at that okay so let's do one thing i'm going to close that let's just copy this and draw another arc right underneath copy and paste and this second arc i'm just going to make that 150 by let's change let it extend up to 215 215 and let's okay let's change this color i'm going to change that to something like this is sky blue there now run let's see there we go look at that and the color around it is red now i'm going to instead of me writing red and so on i'm going to show you guys a method you see color mix uh, how you mix color you start with zero one two three four five six seven eight nine and we also have as part of the color mixture we also have a b c d e f okay you mix those colors together you only need six of them just to make a color let's assume i want to make a color here now let's select whatever in there i can just select nine one a c three and four that's the color that i've just mixed i don't know what color that is but i'm going to cut that off 
I'll just copy it and maybe copy this first before I copy that copy and I'm going to delete everything in there now paste this and this is going to be canvas number two change this one to two two and two and two here and this is row zero column zero so this one is going to be column one okay now this color that I've just made up I'm going to copy that very color and I'll use it to fill something here fill that and uh, but you must enter ash right in front of it there must be something that say ash like that okay now I'm going to come in here let's make up another color enter ash let's go for I'm going to say six five four three two one that's another color that I've just made up okay that is the exo exodesmal color notation so I'm going to delete all of that I don't need that anymore now let's run this now so go to run and you see what I'm talking about there we go look at the color that I made up I don't really know what color that is but I just made that up so I'm going to change this let's change that to zero nine three seven and let's say a b just enter arch there now I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other one here copy paste there and if you want to change the back color you can just change that to whatever you want let's go for light gray light gray and let's run that there we go look at that okay so what I'm going to do you can see that color happens to be blue what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this copy both and change it around come right down here paste and I I'm going to add another one there and this is two this is going to be three 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 and three and this the color I'm going to change the color to whatever but this one will become two here two three and four if I had run this now this is what you guys will see there we go look at that now if we want to populate the other side of it let's come right down here come down enter an ash there just to divide it come right down here I want to create another rule so under here just copy every single one of those paste it there and change the rule we're going to change the rule around now that will be rule one one no that will be one and this is one and one and one now let's run it run and there we go guys and that is how you create your own arc with a canvas and python so with that i'm going to call it the end of this lovely tutorial and i suppose you guys enjoy it bye for now